All right, so let's see if you can figure out how to solve this math word problem about triangles. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is as follows. The base of a triangle is twice as long as its height. The area of this triangle is 30 centimeters squared. What is the base and height of the triangle? Now, this is a multiple choice question, and let's take a look at our answers. Now, by the way, we are talking about centimeters, so uh, to be technically correct, all these would have centimeters behind them. But uh, our first answer choice is A, 7 and 14. Our next uh, answer is B, square root of 30 uh, and 2 times the square root of 30, and C, square root of 15 and 5, and D, the square root of 18 and 9. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's uh, take another look at this problem before I show you the answer. So we're talking about a triangle. So it says the base of a triangle is twice as long as its height. The area of this triangle is 30 centimeters squared. What is the dimensions? Uh, of the base and height of the triangle. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is B, the square root of 30 and two times the square root of 30, and uh, these would both be in centimeters. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being able to solve this lovely math word problem. But uh, really, we need to use some algebra to figure this thing out. So this is like an algebra word problem. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, I didn't use algebra and I got the right answer. Well, that is fantastic. And that is uh, the reason why I didn't say, hey, solve the algebra word problem. Because typically, when people uh, hear that algebra word problem, it makes their hair stand up like so. But uh, again, if you got this right, that's fantastic. And if you didn't get this right, well, no big deal. We're going to walk through the solution right now. All right, so here is the problem, and what do we have? Well, we have a math word problem, so you want to use the rule of three. Now, what is the rule of three? That is, read a problem at least three times before you start doing anything. A lot of students or people, they're like, okay, uh, I read the problem one time. I know exactly what to do. They're going to do this, this, and that, and then they kind of run into a dead end. They're like, wait a minute. Uh, this is not making sense, so they rush back to the problem, they read it again, and then they go off in a different direction and solve the problem. This will happen uh, very frequently, especially if you don't read the problem more than one time, right? So, you know, give your uh, brain an opportunity to kick in, but you got to really understand the question. And the question here, you know, we can identify the question by going to the question mark and back it up. So what is the base and height of the tr of this triangle? What is the dimension uh, dimensions of the base and height of the triangle. That's the question. Now, obviously, we have some information here that we need to use to figure out the answer. But here, uh, you know, we do have a multiple choice question. You could kind of like try to reverse engineer uh, and uh, figure out which uh, of these answers is correct. You could do that. Uh, but really, uh, the best way to solve this problem is directly, and especially if this wasn't a multiple choice question, you know, you would just simply have to know the math. But if you came across such a question and you're like, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, I'm totally lost. What should I do? Well, just take a guess. You might be saying, hey, this looks like a pretty good guess. Yeah, that's fantastic, but it's wrong. So let's talk about how to solve this and have the complete confidence that we got the right answer. So we have a word problem. What should we do with this math word problem? Well, if you can see the problem, well, oftentimes you can see the solution. So you want to model this problem with some sort of sketch. Of course, we're talking about a triangle, so it makes sense to draw a triangle, but we can't do anything unless we understand what the base and height of a triangle is. So let's go ahead and review that right now. All right, so here is a triangle. Now you can have all different sorts of triangles. You can have a right triangle, you can have an acute triangle, you can have an obtuse triangle, 
But uh, in real basic terms, the height of uh, the triangle, well, let's just start with the base, okay? So the base is kind of, let's imagine this is like a table or the ground. That's where the triangle is sitting. So this would be the base. And the height is going to be perpendicular to the base. So this is the height of the triangle. So we can kind of uh, draw it from here, okay? Again, it's perpendicular from here to uh, this tip of the triangle. So this is the height. All right, so this is a pretty good triangle to kind of work with. Now, again, you can have all different sorts of uh, configurations, but remember, in this particular problem, we want to read this here, uh, the base of a triangle is twice as long as its height. Okay, so the base is twice as long as the height. So let's take a look at this figure. This uh, looks pretty good. So the height is like this length, right? So the base looks like maybe twice that. So when you uh, construct a model, of a problem, you want to use something that is somewhat reasonable. It doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, again, you don't want to, uh, you know, have a triangle that is doesn't appear where the uh, the base is twice uh, the height because it's going to confuse you when you're working the problem. All right, so let's go back to the problem, and it says the base of a triangle is twice as long as its height. The area is 30 centimeters squared. Well, we're trying to determine uh, what the base and the height are. Well, we don't know what the base is. And we don't know what the height is, but if we uh, use a variable like x and we say, oh, well, let's just let x represent the base. Well, um, the base, well, actually, no, we don't want to do that. We want to let x equal the height, okay? I'll tell you why in a second, because the base of a triangle is twice as long as the height. So if the height is x, the base is 2x, right? So this is the whole value of using algebra. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to construct a lovely little uh, triangle. So here is the base and here is the height. So the base of this triangle is twice the height. But here, instead of using uh, B and H to represent the base and height, we, ha we have the base and height, excuse me, we have a variable X. So if we can figure out and solve uh, what X is equal to, well, then we will get the right answer. All right, so you can see I have some information down here. So how do we do um, you know, the next step? Like how can we solve for x? Well, the only way you can solve for a variable is to set up an equation. So we have to kind of scour the problem. We're like, all right, we use this information here, uh, but we haven't used this piece of the problem right here. And that is the area of this triangle is 30 centimeters squared. So we can use this piece of information to uh, set up an equation and solve for x. And then of course we will uh, be math heroes and get the right answer. All right, so we need to know a thing or two about the area of a triangle. So indeed, we have to know a formula, and there is a lot of formulas in mathematics, but uh, the area of a triangle is one of these formulas that should go into your long-term storage, right? So, you know, when you study math, especially geometry, you're going to have a ton of formulas and whatnot. A lot of these things, this is why you have notes, right? You take notes and write all this stuff down. But some of these uh, things like the area of a circle, the area of a rectangle, the area of a triangle, these are things that you should just kind of know. At least that's my humble opinion. So the area of a triangle is equal to one half base times height. All right, but we now know that the area of this triangle is 30 centimeters squared. So we can use these two um, uh, pieces of information to construct a, uh, an equation along with our lovely little uh, diagram here. And uh, once we have this equation, we can solve for the variable x. All right, so here is our triangle. So uh, we have the height, the base is twice the uh, height, okay? And the height is x. We know the area of a triangle is one half base times height. But instead of this base here, we'll use the expression 2x, right? So that'll be our base instead of um, h as the height, well, the height of this triangle is x. We'll plug that in. So the area here of this triangle is equal to 1 half 2x times x. So these twos cross cancel, and we have x times x, or x squared. So the area of this triangle here is equal to x squared. But we know that the triangle in question uh, also has an area of 30 centimeters squared, right? So if the area is 30 centimeters squared, and the area is also x squared, well, that means that 30 is equal to x squared, and now we have a lovely mathematical or algebraic equation. All right, so this is a uh, quadratic equation, and now we need to solve for x, and the way we solve for x is simply 
uh, take the square root of both sides. Okay, so we're going to get x is equal to a positive and negative square root of 30. Now, if you don't understand this algebra, I'll give you some suggestions on how you can, you know, learn this stuff. You know, uh, you know, if you're kind of lost, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're doing stuff. I don't even know what's going on. Well, stick with me here. Just kind of follow the logic. So x is equal to a positive or negative square root of 30. But we haven't yet answered the question. Remember, the question is, what is the base? What is the height? So let's go and take that next step. And that is to... Uh, finish up this equation, right? So x squared is equal to 30. Matter of fact, I'm just kind of repeating uh, this again. For those of you that don't know, a quadratic equation always has two solutions. So right here, there really is two specific solutions, this positive and negative business. That means that one of the solutions is positive square root of 30. And the second solution here is negative square root of 30. And this comes into play it's not a trivial little detail. It's something that we need to pay attention to. So this equation has two solutions. All right, so we're not done yet, and let's continue to move forward. And uh, we need to do this, though, before we finish up this problem. And that is uh, just have you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel because you're probably saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I know you're going to start talking here, you know, rambling a lot. You know, I like your videos, but this part of the videos, you need to, well, listen, I get it. But uh, this is like my favorite part of, of uh, you know, teaching math is to encourage people because this is what I'm trying to prevent. After decades and decades of teaching math, I have spoke, I've talked to so many uh, people all over the world. I've been pretty uh, fortunate to, um, you know, teach a lot of people and the trends just are, are there, okay? Uh, decade after decade, I speak to people that remember their teachers back from the 1940s, 1960s, 1980s, or something happened in school, and they're like, yes, somebody told me I was bad at math, and back in 1967, you know, I wanted to be an engineer, but, you know, I didn't do well in math, so, you know, I went off and did something else. Well, you know, uh, hopefully things turned out well, but what really is, um, you know, really alarming sometimes is that people change their whole life plans because they don't feel like they're smart enough to understand the math for a particular, you know, certification, you know, college degree or whatever the case is. And for me, you should always have options. So never, ever, ever let math stand in your way. So you can be successful in math, right? Please don't give up. What you need to do is find someone that you like and understand in terms of their instruction that is comprehensive, right? So if you're looking for quick, little fast ways to learn math, well, you know, you're going to continue to be frustrated. So this is what I like to do. And the things that we're talking about here, you know, geometry, quadratic equations, and things like this, um, if you're interested in learning more about this and you're not a math student, check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. That course, I'll teach you basic math into algebra, geometry, you know, all the things that we're talking about. But if you're watching this video and you're a geometry student or an algebra student, um, just check out the links in the description you'll uh, see my full courses there. But uh, let's move on. But uh, I definitely need your help to continue to grow my channel. So hit that subscribe button and that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go ahead and finish this thing up. So here is our solution. Now I kind of uh, have x is equal to the square root of 30. Now some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, didn't you say that x is equal to positive negative square root of 30? Indeed, I did, right? So we have a square root of 30 over here and a negative square root of 30, but we need to drop this negative value because we're not talking about negative distances here. So that is a small detail, but a very important uh, observation. So we're gonna keep a, a positive square root of 30 as our answer. So that's what X is equal to. So this is our height, okay? So X is our height. So our height is equal to the square root of 30 and the base is two times uh, the height. So that's gonna be two times the square root of 30. And again, because we are dealing with centimeters, right, our area was in centimeters squared, so our distance here will be in centimeters. So you, you can't forget uh, those units of measure. That is a, a very important detail as well. All right, so hopefully this little prom was interesting and, uh, you know, entertaining. Or some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, I knew how to do this prom. You know, you know, you got to make more challenging proms. Well, here's the thing. If you go onto my YouTube channel, I post a variety of word problems from basic math to geometry to more advanced algebra. I like to kind of mix it up. And my focus on my channel is really kind of from basic math to advanced math, kind of like up to uh, calculus, right? So if you want to check out 
more war, uh, word problems. I have a ton of word problems again on my channel, but uh, you know, trying to solve a word problem is that's not a good way to go if you struggle with the basic math skills. So leave the word problems for later. Make sure you get the uh, the math down, and then apply your math skills to solve word problems. All right. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.